So tire screws? That just seems counterproductive because screws and tires don't usually go together. But it is a real thing. And it's very important on a drag car. Typically you find them on race vehicles, some industrial applications, but on a drag car it's very important. And here's why. If you take your average rim, and I'm just going to draw a little cross section of a rim. This could be the rim of any common car, commonly available. This right little area right here, and this is a half section through a rim. This little area right here is where your bead of your tire goes. Now, if you've ever, as a kid, cut a tire in two or just had opportunity to play with a tire, you'll notice they have the bead and then it comes up. And I'm going to say tread simply because it'll just help for clarity. And this is not a superly drawn tire here. So you have your tread area. You have your sidewall area. And then you have your bead. And down here in this bead is a whole bunch of steel cords. Rather it's a belted tire or not, there's some kind of cording in these bead areas. And when the tire is put onto the rim, and I've over exaggerated this curve here, if you've ever watched somebody mount a tire, the bead comes up and it usually wants to sit right here or pretty close to right here and it won't quite go over. And they put the air in and it goes boom when it pops on. That's that bead popping into that groove. Now, on a race tire or race rim, that bead is really exaggerated and usually has a little bit more of a ramp going up to it to help the tire go on and seat and it drops down into this groove. And um, once again, I've over exaggerated the depth of this just so it shows up a little better. And then here's the outside of your wheel going on down and then here's where your lugs would be. And here's your axle hub center. and your other lug. And then this curves off and goes to the other side of the wheel. Well, what a tire screw does is it goes in here and locks that bead to the rim. And if you do it right, and that's the critical part, is that it's done right, it goes in at a slight angle and it just goes into the bead. It doesn't go on in through the rim. It just sits right there. What it does is it keeps the tire from spinning on the rim. Now if you watch a drag car launch, and I wish I had a good picture of one, but I don't. If you watch a drag car launch, here's the rim. Here's the tire, and this is very evident on top fuel dragsters because they really excessively do it. As the car launches, the tire wrinkles up and actually drops down so that it actually squats and the surface area gets bigger. And you got all these little wrinkles down here as the tire's trying to move the car forward. Well, that force will actually spin the tire on the rim. And it can make the tire come off the rim, it can make the tire leak and lose pressure, or the least thing it can do is slip and ruin the tire and make the belts tear. And just not a good situation. So we put these screws in to keep the tire from spinning on the rim. That's all it's for. Depending on how much horsepower you got, you may only have four or five screws. Most people do five front and back, stagger them. You do it, go get the wheel balanced, everything's fine. And when it's time to change the tire again, you back them out, put your new tire on, put a new set of screws in it, put air in it, you're ready to go. Most drag slicks run tubes anyway, so it's real easy to not leak. You can do it without a tube and still not leak. But that's the long and the short of the tire screws. It's, it's not a big thing. There's a reason for it. And it does sound counterintuitive, a screw and a tire, and I see why people question it, but it's a real thing. Most drag cars have it, and I hope this helped. Hope you found today's little video interesting, entertaining, informative. As always, practice your skills, learn a new skill, turn that skill into craftsmanship. You never know how far it'll take you. 
And I'll have some more technical videos coming up soon. This was just going to be in the next episode of Drag Racing Basics. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching.